You aren't going to find anybody who's going to be successful without making a sacrifice and without perseverance. Lou Holtz. The sacrifice we ask from you is 10 to 15 minutes. The perseverance is every day. Every day the market is open 10 to 15 minutes. That's what it takes. It's not a big sacrifice. It is time, and it's time on a daily basis. If you can do that, you have the ability to figure out how to follow these charts. And think about what that skill set means for you. If you can look at charts, find trends, and follow them, and do that successfully time and time and time again after you've practiced traded for however long it takes. Imagine the kind of freedom that can give you. That's what I get excited about every day. I do this for free. I come here and present this to you. We got a little book we sell. We have Patreon supporters to help pay for the bandwidth and the texting service and all that kind of stuff. I do this because it makes me better. It keeps me on top of my game because if you teach, you have to really know what you're talking about. I thank you for letting me come to you and I'm just asking you, make my time worthwhile for you. Now, let's jump into these charts. We see stocks are up for the day, bonds and gold down. That's the way the market's supposed to work. We're supposed to see if Indeed, stocks are up. We expect things like gold and bonds, which tend to be safe havens, to be down. If the opposite's true and stocks are down, we want to see bonds and gold up. And again, gold down just a little bit. We've still got, in effect, if you remember, at the end of last week, had a weekly vertical crossover on gold. We'll talk about that a little more in just a minute. If you are interested in buying our book or being a Patreon supporter, you'll see a link in the show notes. Let's jump into these charts. S&P 500 up 0.81%. Look at that candle. Pretty candle. Price is above the weekly trend line. Nice big up candle. Higher high. Price percent oscillator going up. Derivative oscillator going up. Those of you who listened to the show yesterday, you heard me, you heard me talking about how the Fed keeps dumping money billions into the market. Well, if you keep pushing dollars into the market, you can expect things like stocks to continue to inflate in value. And it also helps, does not hurt, that the economy is doing quite well. That's good to see. So we go from the two day, from the weekly to the two day. Look at that two day trend line. Now, of course, this is the two Wednesday, Thursday candle. And that candle is complete now. A nice big up candle. Price is just going right up like stair steps. We're connecting three candles, six days of movement. Look what's happening. Pulling away from the red signal line. It was right laminated on it and pulled away. That was beautiful. Any of you guys look to jump in at the close on what we could call a recross going up on the two day? Yes, I know there's some danger there, but again, if you put in your loss parameters, something for you to look at. Not saying you needed to do that. You had to do that. Just wondered how many of you practice that. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum too. What's going on on that four-hour chart up in the morning and the afternoon? Four-hour chart, of course, has been going up since the 9th. How many of you, if we look at that two-day chart going back to the 8th and then the 9th and 10th when things started moving away. Any of you use any of those times to try to get in? Anybody jump in on that four-hour recross going back up? Danger. It was really sketchy there. And again, one two-day candle doesn't mean everything's in the clear. Just curious. I encourage you to Practice trade as often as you can. Note your reasons for getting in, what it is you're trying to learn from it. Use our trade worksheet. You will find that trade worksheet should go into your trader's journal where you keep up with all that you are learning. At least fill out your weekly market worksheet once a week and every time you do a practice trade. Use the trade worksheet. Don't know what I'm talking about? Look at the link in your show notes. There's a PDF link there. You can print out as many of those as you want. If you want to buy our bound three-month journal, you can do that, but you don't have to. You can print them out for free. So let's keep moving through these charts. We're going back to the weekly, 
and we go to the Qs. What do we see there? Up 0.96% for the day. Big up candle. Price above the two-day and the weekly. Look at that price percent oscillator heading up. Derivative oscillator heading up. Quite nice. Go to the two-day chart. What do we see? That two-day chart just continues to go up and up and up. Look how beautiful that is on the Qs. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. How high will it go? I don't know. If the Fed just keeps pumping money in, what do we see on the four-hour chart? Trying to recross. It had crossed over going down. Trying to recross going back up. Again, keep your eye on those things. See what they mean to you as we move along. But again, four-hour chart we use typically as a trigger in some instances. We pay attention to it all the time. And, of course, it is the smallest chart, which should have the least meaning for you. Remember, all things being equal, the market moves, tends to move in the direction of the largest chart. With that caveat, I always like to throw in, the trend is your friend until the end. Now we leave stocks, go to bonds. Down for the day, 0.32%. So not down much. What do we see forming? Got a green spinning top little bit higher as far as the candle body itself goes in the wick. Let's check that wick out to make sure. Well, it's about where it was in the prior week. Let's look. We see the high last week was 139.71. High this week, 139.76. Not much higher. Derivative oscillator still negative. Uh, price percent oscillator still negative. Derivative oscillator losing downward momentum. So again, Still have a confirmed down chart when it comes to the weekly. We go from the weekly to the two-day. Of course, the two-day crossed over going up back on the 10th, and we do have a green up candle. That is, again, our Heiken Ashi candlestick. The wick touching the 50-period moving average line. Prices above that two-day trend line. Like we said, price percent oscillator moving up, derivative oscillator moving up. So we'll just keep watching. We don't have a trade because the weekly's moving one direction down, the two-day another up. Four-hour chart, pretty much sideways, a little down for the day. Price percent oscillator barely ticking up. Derivative oscillator still positive but losing momentum. So don't have anything going on in bonds. we got to have the intermediate two-day, the long-term weekly moving in the same direction to have a trade. Now, what do we see in gold? Look at the candle after big booming on the 10th with a weekly vertical crossover that occurred for that week ending Friday the 10th. This week, again, not a negative down candle, but a red cautionary candle. We see that prices above the weekly, that's nice. Price percent oscillator still moving up, not super strong, but moving up. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. Go to the two-day chart. Two-day chart moving up a little bit. It's a green spinning top, indecision tending up after a prior red, solid red. That means, of course, when it's solid red, it means more of the potential for down movement. So it's converted over some. Not super strong. Price percent oscillator just about flat, moving up just a little bit. Derivative oscillator losing momentum. That's where we are on the two-day, and we go to the four-hour. Four-hour still heading down, really a sideways slide throughout the course of the day. Down just a little bit, like we said, 0.16%. Four-hour still negative. Want to see that recross over going up. That would be beautiful. Who knows what Friday holds? We'll wait and see. Your loss parameters should be set. If it's a bad day on Friday, then, of course, you can pull the plug in your gold practice trade. Hopefully, you're in one of those and will, or maybe you've already pulled the plug on it. Maybe it will. Now, remember, when we look back in time, this is what gives us hope, but not foolish hope. What we have seen over and over again with gold is when we have rotations over in gold and we, we literally have the blue go over the red. It tends to stay that way, even if it gets fishy, like we saw back in April uh, and May, March and April of 2018. But look how clean gold tends to move for us. So again, we'll just be patient. Let the charts lead us. If things don't work and you pull out, then 
keep an eye on that four hour chart. It may give you the ability to jump into an up move in gold, but maybe it'll just all vanish. Folks, that's what makes this so fun. The outcome is not predetermined. It's your skills. It's what you've learned. It's including the, the loss limits and making sure that you are not overextending yourself because losses will kill you. And speaking of losses, we have a great training for the subscribers. That's free at chartingwealth.com. If you're not a subscriber, you need to be one so you get these kind of trainings for free. Cutting losses is the key to winning. That is the great training that's included in your show notes tonight. Check it out. Listen to it. Study it. Take notes. Sounds counterintuitive, but you never have a problem with profits, but losses will kill you. Take that training. If you're not signed up, go to chartingwealth.com, put in your name, email address for free. You'll get every day the daily market review. Once a week, the weekly market review, plus all those great things like the special trainings, the daily market worksheets, weekly market worksheets, trade worksheets, those PDFs are included in those show notes every day, plus links to buy the book, to become a Patreon supporter, be able to participate in our once a month live call-in training sessions, all that available to you. My friends, thank you so much for being with us. Don't forget, at the close of the market on Friday, we're going to be recording the comprehensive review and forecast for the coming week, reviewing what happened this week. Let's see what gold does tomorrow. God bless all the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.